On November 19th, 2016, a week and a half after Donald Trump won the presidential election, Kanye West, now known as Ye, held a concert in Sacramento. Most people in the audience were, of course, young people and presumably Hillary Clinton voters and presumably deeply disappointed by her loss a week and a half before. Two days later, Kanye West was in the hospital. Well, at the house of his family's exercise trainer, a man called Harley Pasternak, West apparently suffered some kind of mental break. Pasternak called an ambulance to pick him up. West was taken away, and then he was sedated with at least seven different psychiatric medications, including benzodiazepines, lithium, sleeping pills, and olanzapine. News reports suggested that West had experienced a profound psychiatric episode. He'd gone completely off the deep end. He'd gone crazy, and they've been saying that ever since. West, over time, though, told a very different story. In his telling, after what he'd said on stage in Sacramento, Harley Pasternak was trying to shut him up. 